beginning with P. Louise uh, Eye Base. We're using this in the shade Rumor. I know she's come out with more shades now. Um, but yeah, this is the original shade and I'm using a Revoluna or 07 brush uh, just to pack this all over the lid. Next, I'm going in with my baby, <laughs> uh, the Jaffin Hill palette. I literally do not put this down. I'm taking the shade Mocha and I'm using a Revoluna or 23 brush and I'm just gonna pack this, like I'm not worried about blending this yet, I'm literally just packing it onto the lid, getting the colour on, and then I'll worry about blending this later on. So I'm kinda just doing a semi-circle shape. And then next I go in with the colour Butter, and I use this on a Revoluna or 21 brush, so this is a bit of a fluffier brush, and I'm just concentrating this colour on the very edge of that first colour. So I hope this is making sense, but you can see what I'm doing anyway, I'm just blending the very edge and just getting that colour down. This isn't completely blended yet either. So the next colour here I go in with is called Jax. And I'm using a Morphe M139 brush. Now this went out of focus here, but I'll show you kind of in the next clip what I do. I literally just blended that colour in between the two colours that I just placed. And then I go back in with the P. Louise base and the Aura 7 brush again. I love this concealer brush, it's so like pink. And I'm just creating the spotlight on the eye. So I always get my clients to look up. So you can print, it, the face kind of prints on up in the crease, like how high you're going to bring it. <laughs> I know that sounds, I said that on a But um, yeah, just so you know how high to bring your kind of cut crease. And then I go back in with Jax and that Morphe brush again, and I literally just pat this over the edge of that concealer for the base. Next I'm going in with Beam from the palette, this is like um, MAC Nylon and I'm using that on a Crown C205 brush and I'm just packing that on top of that P. Louise base. And then I just go back in with that Morphe brush again and just tap over the edge just making sure everything is blended. And then next I'm going in with the Essence Liquid Ink Liner and I'm just doing a kind of thin enough line just on the upper lash line. Next I go in with the black from the palette, which is, I don't know how to say that, a beast or something. <laughs> and I'm going in with a blank canvas E10 brush and I'm literally just tapping this on the inner and outer corner. When I'm going on the inner corner as well, I make my client look down just so there's no kind of creases in there, you know, the way sometimes when your eyes look down. And then I'm going in with the base again underneath the eyes and this is on a crown brush, the 411 or 441, I can't remember. And yeah, I'm just tapping this and kind of blending this on the under eye. And then next I'm going in with my Maybelline gel liner. This is a really good dupe for the Inglot uh, 77 gel liner. It literally does not budge and it's so black. And I'm just tight lining her lower waterline. And then I'm going back in with that black and a C432 brush from Crown. And I'm just smudging this along the edge of her lash line. And I'm going back in with that Jax colour on a Morphe M149 brush and I'm just smudging out the very edge of that black, not going over the black, just the very edge. And then next I go in with Butter, the same colours we used on the top and a crown brush C433 and same again, blending the very edge of that. And then I go back in with that concealer brush and kind of just make sure the edge is blended. And then I'm going in with Beam on a BH Cosmetics 105 brush, just a little pencil brush. Jesus, going so fast! <laughs> Dolly Boutique Lashes in Kylie pops them on their Instagram page, they very kindly sent me them, um, so yeah, they're absolutely fab lashes, so check them out. And then for my kind of primer, I'm using this Insta Strobing Rimmel, it's just like a glowy illuminating primer on a Real Techniques contour brush. foundation I'm using the NYX matte but not flat foundation in 09 and the L'Oreal infallible total cover these are both quite thick foundations and um, they're matte as well but just this is kind of a festival look so you want your makeup to stay on and we want nice coverage etc and I'm using the Be Bold this is the brush that comes with the contour kit I actually love it for foundation and I'm just tapping that all over the face and yeah I just mixed a light and a dark shade of those two foundations just to get 
colour that we wanted. Okay, she had no tan on, but um, yeah, we just kind of brought it down her neck. We wanted her to be a little bit bronzed. So yeah, just tapping that all over the face with that brush. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C1. This is the lightest shade. It's like we wanted a quite a bright under eye. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this concealer. It's so full coverage. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen it anyway. But yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shade Take. And that one's, I think, about 30 euro. And this one is five. And then I'm just blending that all in with the original Beauty Blender, just the black one. And this is obviously using this stamp. everywhere we put that concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent and I'm using the Beauty Blender to do that as well. I love doing this, it just makes like everything kind of mould into your skin. Does that make sense? Mould. <laughs> and then I just got back in with that crown brush and just blend out, make sure none of the concealer like interrupted the blend on our under eye. And then I'm going in with the Be Bold Contour Kit. I'm using the bronzer shade first on a Zoeva 126 Lux Cheek Brush. And notice I'm just kind of patting the colour on first and then I kind of blend it out afterwards just because we don't set the rest of the skin. So you kind of just tap on the bronzer first and then blend it out. Make sure we bring that down the neck as well. And then I go in with the contour shade, which I thought was going to be really light, but it was actually really nice when I put it on. It just added that kind of shadow in the cheeks. And then on a BB05 brush from Buff and Blend, I go in with the California brush from Benefit. And then I kind of went back in with the bronzer brush just to tone it down. And then my favorite part, um, highlighter, I'm using the Amrezy Anastasia highlight and I wet the brush as well with a setting spray. And then I just tap it on first to kind of the highest point of the cheekbone and then I kind of blend it out afterwards. And I literally put this everywhere, so. Look how nice that is. The upper lip, chin, nose, tip of the nose, and then my hand covers it, yeah, there, but I do in between kind of the eyebrows there. You'll see I do it again. Yeah, but I'm covering it. And then kind of above the brows as well. You just kind of want that all over glow, especially because we did use the matte foundation. And then I go back in with my bronzer brush just to make sure that's kind of blended with the highlight. There's nothing worse than a big streak. Is Casey checking herself out? <laughs> And then I'm going in with a lip liner. This is an Essence lip liner. I can't remember what um, shade it is, but it's kind of like a mauve kind of nudie one. Um, so I'm just lining her lips. And then we go in with MAC Honey Love on our little Real Techniques lip brush. And then to top that off, I use the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss and just kind of tap that on over. And then at the very end, we added in Benefit Ready Set Brow Gel. This is just a clear brow gel. We didn't put any other product in her brows. Look how fab they are. I love that just like natural kind of fluffy brow. I think it really made the whole look. And um, yeah, so that we could leave it. This is one option. You could just leave it like this. This would be fab for a night out or really anywhere. But then you'll see in a minute now, we go on and add these jewels for a festival look. So these are from Jolly Boutique as well on Instagram. I left their thing there on the screen. I thought I was going to need to use uh, glue or something to stick this on, but I didn't. I'd say if I use it again, I will. But yeah, it was sticky enough. We just stuck, stuck that on her forehead. And then two little jewels came as well. So I kind of just stuck them on either side of her eye. And yeah, that is the finished look. So let me know if you enjoyed. And if you like these kind of videos, I'm definitely going to do more client tutorials. So thank you so much for watching as always. And leave me a comment and let me know what you thought.